the thing. Um, Kodak Black is facing life in prison. I'm just joking. He's facing um, four years, almost four years in prison. And he got into a fight with an inmate. And then the guard got involved. And then he hospitalized the guard. At, he started beating up the guard, hospitalized the guard. But now I'm going to show you a clip of his arrest. So, yeah down to this new details about the most recent arrest of rapper Kodak Black. He is now sitting in federal custody the same weekend that rolled out. Let's get over to local 10 News reporter Terrell Fournay, who is live in Miami Garden tonight with the latest on this story. Terrell. Well, this annual festival is in its third and final day here at the Hard Rock Stadium. And we know that investigators, they knew that Kodak Black would be performing here. So just before showtime, in a coordinated effort between the ATF, Miami-Dade Police, and the U.S. Marshal's Office, they moved in for that arrest. This photo of a handcuffed Kodak Black was snapped shortly after the rapper's arrest Saturday night. 21-year-old was picked up at the Hard Rock Stadium, where he was just minutes away from taking the stage at the popular Rolling Loud Festival. Today, that three-day festival is in full swing, and not skipping a beat since one of its main acts was unable to perform. Kodak Black, who legally changed his real name to Bill Capri, was booked on warrants tied to a series of state and federal weapons violations. The public feature was just released from jail last month after being arrested on drug and weapons charges at the Canadian border. The rapper is also in legal trouble in South Carolina for an alleged sexual assault against a female fan. And you may remember he spent seven months in the Broward County Jail last year, arrested yet again after an incident at his home in Pembroke Pines, where police say three men were in Kodak Black's bathroom on social media, broadcasting drug use, showing off weapons around a child. Kodak Black was charged with child neglect, grand theft of a firearm, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and marijuana possession. But most of those charges were dropped. As for the three-day festival, security scares and bad weather caused some disruptions and delays, but have not derailed the event. More than 60,000 people are expected to attend before the weekend is out, making it the biggest hip-hop festival around. And there was yet another performer who bailed at the last minute, rapper Lil Wayne, who uh, decided not to perform because he did not want to go through a mandatory uh, security screening. But again, this festival, it grows every year. It is in its fifth year. Uh, literally hundreds of performers on three different stages. And I told you that tonight was the last night. It wraps up at midnight. Reporting live from Miami Gardens, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. So, yeah, Kodak Black did a lot of really, really, really bad things. So, see, he, he sh he, I don't know what's going to happen for to him. This is probably the end for his rap career. But anyways, like and subscribe. Peace.